Hello, I'm EBM. Welcome back to the channel. Now, about ooh, eight, nine years ago, I started my journey in electric vehicles. Then the channel came. And I've had to deal with, shall we say, misinformation for many years. With electric vehicles, it started out back then, certainly, with you need to replace the batteries every three or four years. Clearly, that was not the case. It never was the case. There's a lot of misinformation, is what I'm saying. With heat pumps, there's the same amount of misinformation. But I'm coming to realise that it's not quite the same. It's not really misinformation that's causing things like, well, this recent Daily Mail article that I've been sent many times over the past few days. I'm not going to go through it blow, blow by blow, but ultimately it's from people saying that they've had a terrible experience. It's cost me thousands of pounds over winter. I have to run mine at 16 degrees in my house, otherwise it costs a fortune. Our 25,000 pound heat pump left us out of pocket and operating a NASA spaceship would be easier. Now, I don't think the people that are in this article are lying. They're not a shill for the gas spoiler industry or anything. I think this is their genuine experience, which is kind of the point. This isn't so much misinformation that we have to kind of combat because I've had a good experience. It's more of a case of a symptom of a bigger problem. The videos I've done over the last year or so about the heat pump is just recording our journey. I don't care whether you get a heat pump or not, but I do have a positive experience. This is what has happened to us. And as a consumer and a total non-expert in this, but I can do research, as a consumer, I have seen certain things during our quoting process and the implementation and after that and the running costs and so forth, and of course, having a social media presence. I've seen a lot of things which make me realize that the biggest problem that heat pumps seems to face isn't so much the misinformation, it's the installation problems that create that. So back to these Daily Mail people, I don't think that they're, like I said, lying in any way. I think this is their actual experience because it's much easier to screw one of these up, installing them, I mean, than it is something like a gas boiler. I could change a couple of settings on this, my floor temperature, my heat curve, and a few other things, and knock off 100, 150%, or one, or one and a half from my cop, just by changing settings. It's easy to make it cost a lot more just by misconfiguring something. And that's before we get into the installation of it all. And as I've said this, many times in the previous videos it's all about the design of the system and the installation of the system it's about the industry that we currently have at the moment not being able to cope with the amount of heat pumps that again sort of pushed on them if i'm being honest now when we were getting quotes i had very very wild variations i got my heat calculations done by the heat geeks they literally train other heating engineers. So I, I went to them specifically just for the heat calculations, not the install, because I wanted to, to see what it was like. Content for the channel, essentially, but I, I paid for that separately because I wanted to know if the people that were quoting me were giving me at least something that's vaguely, vaguely accurate, if I can talk. If you want to know anything about heat pumps or heating in general, go and watch the Heat Geek YouTube channel. It really is a wealth of information. Now, during the quoting process, if you will, I did what all people should be doing and getting several quotes. This is a five kilowatt heat pump. That's how much it can generate. That's not how much it consumes. That's another kind of bit of misinformation out there. People think a five kilowatt heat pump uses five kilowatts of electricity. It doesn't. So I knew what I needed with the heat calculations and kept that to myself. I then got the quotes. One of them came back, a 16 kilowatt heat pump they wanted to install. Not the five I needed, that the heat calculations told me I needed, and that I knew to myself. I will put a 16 kilowatt in, sir, and we'll replace all your radiators. A second quote, 12 kilowatt heat pump, with, again, replacing all my radiators. Only this one wanted to replace all the pipes, central heating pipes, throughout my house. Now, when it comes to the radiators, I have about, uh, I think it's 12 in the house. We've got a couple of small ones dotted around in toilets, but we've got 12 radiators. The heat calculations and ultimately what we got done, we replaced five of 12. And that's just going double panel from single panel. Same everything else, same pipes, all of it untouched. Same installation, everything. They wanted to replace all of them. Why? 
I don't know, probably just to generate money. I think this is also why, for quotes like this and perceptions, think that you have to replace all your radiators when you get a new heat pump. It's not because you have to, it's because a lot of people seem to be quoting that, as the other quotes that I got were telling me. I have 15 mil uh, pipes running throughout my house, the radiator pipe, the size of it, the diameter. The company that said they needed to replace all those were going to replace my, as they said, existing system with 15 mil pipes. Now, I'm not a heating engineer, but I know how to use a tape measure. Ultimately, I already have 50 mil pipes. They have visited my house, granted for like half an hour, they didn't do any calculations, but they were telling me I needed the same thing I already had. And that was gonna be thousands on the quote. So again, it's all down to the design of the system. What size heat pump do I need? Do I need to replace some, all, or no radiators? Unfortunately, there seems to be a bit of a, and I don't want to insult an entire industry here because there's some very good installers out there, but there seems to be a lot more that are unaware of the intricacies, shall we say, of heat pumps. And that's creating bad installs, which is creating things like these Daily Mail articles and the misinformation that people will read about. So someone will read that Daily Mail thing and think, I don't think so. I ain't replacing all my radiators, there's nothing wrong with them. Imagine if I'd have got a 16 kilowatt heat pump with that first quote company. That would have short cycled, it'd cost me a fortune, it would never get to its peak efficiency, and I would have a terrible experience, and I'd be telling you about it on the channel. It's like a house. You wouldn't build one without an architect or some drawings, would you? You wouldn't just think, well, let's get some bricks and start. But that's what I see from the people that contact me, just not, not just my own experience, when it comes to getting heat pumps installed. It's not the technology at all. These work, they have done for many, many years in far colder countries than the UK. So they clearly work. The people that say that they don't work in winter, think about what you're saying. How, how do they work in Scandinavian countries and have them for many years in most of their housing stock if it doesn't work in winter? It, it, it doesn't make sense what you're saying. But when it's installed badly, it won't heat it properly. Or if it does, it'll cost you a fortune. With an electric car, it's the same product, it's just what price can you get it at. So it's a lot easier. With this, it's not the product so much as the uh, knowledge, the design again, as I say, the, the, the person's experience. And that is worth its weight in gold. I would rather go with somebody that's a bit more expensive, that has a very good reputation and lots of successful installs that you can speak to and find, than somebody that's just kind of cheap and seems to know what they're doing. I mean, ultimately, it's the red flag approach, isn't it? If someone comes up to your house and is a salesman rather than a heating engineer, I would, I would say, I'm sorry, I'm not interested immediately. There's so many variables. It needs to be about you, not a generic approach. I mean, there are always sharks out there, aren't there? People will take advantage of grants, like the boiler upgrade scheme grant that's 5,000 pound, and no doubt companies will appear to take advantage of that all the time, do bad installs, disappear overnight and then we'll have more stories about it. It happened with electric car chargers. Years ago, if I go back, there was a £1,000 grant for an EV charger installed in your house. Miraculously, they all seem to cost about £1,200. So if I pay £200, the install company gets £1,000 from the grant and everybody's happy. When that grant disappeared, funnily enough, the price came down. Many of those companies don't exist and didn't after about six months of appearing. Turn up, get accredited, which is a far simpler process than it should have been, do lots of installs, go bankrupt, got all this money. What, what are they gonna do? The cat to get off me, I've gone bankrupt. And that is a danger with, a, I guess, any grant, let alone the heat pump one. So ultimately, the biggest problem isn't so much the misinformation. For me, it's the installer. From my non-expert consumer point of view, it's about who installs it. The product is the product, it will work if it's installed in the correct place. You're gonna to have to do some research. And when spending thousands of pounds, potentially into five figures, it's worth putting a day or two's research into it, isn't it, really? It really is. Don't just pick up the uh, you know your phone, Google it and go, oh, he'll do, he's near me or she. So again, I am not an expert. I'm sure there'll be heating engineers watching this right now that will feel a bit little miffed that I've effectively said, your industry needs a lot of kind of upscaling for heat pumps. Um, I, I even get contacted on Twitter quite often through um, YouTube channel as well on the heat pump videos I do from people who say at least they're heating engineers. I'm a heating engineer, I'd never install a heat pump that don't work. 
So the whole misinformation thing, which again, I've fought many, many years over when it comes to EVs, it's now this, but how can you fight something that isn't so much misinformation, it's reality. If someone says it's cost them thousands of pounds and they've got the proof in front of them, I can't say, well, it's not true because it is for them. The problem that they did, I guess, if you're being harsh, is that they've not got someone who knows what they're doing to install it. But again, that's the hard bit. How do you know this? If I bought a house that fell down, I wouldn't say houses are crap. I would say the person who built it is crap. But it's very difficult for the consumer. Again, that's, that's what I've spotted here. As I said, it's like every industry. We're trying to find a builder at the moment. Nothing. I've, I've, I've contacted four of them that have got apparently good reputations. They haven't even turned up for a quote. My, my brother's a joiner. I'm, I'm very familiar with the construction industry. He has been for decades. And it's, it's just how it is sometimes. It takes time. And once you get hold of that good electrician or good plumber, you don't want to let go, do you? So, uh, yeah, let me know if you've got a heat pump. Have you had a good install, a bad install? Buying a, an electric car charger that I mentioned earlier. If someone puts an EV charger in incorrectly, it can be fixed after the fact. If someone put a 16 kilowatt heat pump in instead of a five, there's no fix for that other than a, a very expensive replacement. So, again, it, it, it's different, isn't it? it it's, it's, you've got to get it right first time. So, thank you for watching, guys. Um, let me know what you think. Have I been harsh? On the nose again i don't want to feel like i'm i would have got an industry here i'm not lots of good lots of bad quite frankly like any industry and uh, buyer beware so yeah thanks for watching guys see you soon